I've heard Elaine say that anaerobic ferments were useful as a biocide to kill microbes, but ultimately isn't for building a long-term soil biome. Yeah, no, Eve, I've heard her say the same exact thing, but then I've also heard her say that. Now with EM, for example, or bokashi or kimchi or some of those fermented food materials, we're very careful about what the microorganisms are. We know that there is these 12 species of lactobacillus. There are five species of bacillus with a big B. There are two species of actinobacteria. And if we were really being good, there would be one species of photosynthetic non-sulfur purple bacteria in there. So that's what we have to, we got to know that this is the bacterial community and fungal community that's supposed to be there. So that video is again on my YouTube and you can check that out. Um, and the thing is, is it's, it's not a biocide. The funny. Th okay. I will make a reveal in this moment. The cornerstone ingredient of EM was in Dr. Elaine Ingham's star students compost pile and all the other members of EM were already in there too. So the idea that the anaerobic ferment is a biocide would mean that Elaine Ingham's star compost company is creating biocides and they're not, not at all. They're creating incredible compost doing the Elaine Ingham method. And those anaerobic fermentative microbes are in there because they literally don't move the pile for 60 to 90 days. That's an anaerobic process. So that's a reveal. <laughs> uh, um, there's way more to that story though. Um, and a lot more to that story. Um, but yeah, yeah. So all the ingredients that are EM that are like the flashy, flashy things, they're already in the good compost. So that argument doesn't hold up. It's not real. So, you know, yeah. Yeah. So that's why it's, I haven't like talked very much about this because it's, it's, it's ground shattering for certain things. So, um, yeah, I told you that guys, cause we're here we're almost at three hours. You guys stuck it out. You got the reveal. <laughs> So hopefully you'll, your curiosity will continue to go forward with the momentum of everything that I've put into your head today will carry you into next week. And next week, you're going to be like, Matt, I, need, I got more questions now. And you come next week and we hang out again. And we, and we talk about how we can make soil from scratch anywhere. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you for being here. I'm Matt Powers, grow abundantly, learn daily, and live regeneratively. And I will see you soon. And, the, and I'll put the replay up soon too as well. Thank you all. Soil is the linchpin to life, to civilization, to health. If we want a healthy future, to fight environmental collapse, to live regeneratively and ethically, and to experience a life of abundance and freedom, we want healthy and abundant soil everywhere. But that means we need to relearn old ways and learn some new ways to build, cycle, and partner with soil and soil life. We can change the world radically, but it's up to us. We have to make those choices. We have to partner with soil and soil life. It takes our participation and support. Will you join us? Regenerative Soil, the full program, we're going to dive deep. We're gonna be looking commercial, we're gonna be looking DIY, we're gonna be going garden, we're gonna be going farm scale. We're gonna cover it all. We wanna serve everyone at all levels and we wanna create that fluency, micro to macro, so that we can spread the regeneration of our soil, our ecosystems, all our systems all across the world. You can do this. You can regenerate soil because regenerative soil is the linchpin for life. It's the linchpin for all systems, 
all of our civilization. Everything is running on this. Everything is based on this. Everything is relying upon this. Check out the link down below. Sign up and, and join us in Regenerative Soil, the full online course. You're not going to want to miss it. I'm Matt Powers. Grow abundantly, learn daily, and live regeneratively.